campers. Student Book Six by Angela Yanis and Libby Williams, and Happy Campers Skills Book Six by Jill McKinnery. Class Audio CD. Jason, Patty, Adam, and Sue, the Happy Campers, coming to you. I'm Zach. I'm the director. Action! Hi, I'm Madison. I'm Zach's personal assistant. Hello, I'm Jason. I like this script. Hi, I'm Sue. This is Madison's dog. Say hi, Hamlet. <coughs> I'm Patty. I'm an actress. Hi. I'm Adam. I'm the star of the movie. The Happy Campers song. All right, all right, Happy Campers, are you ready? Are you ready? One, two, three. Clap your hands and move your feet. Let's have fun. Dance to the beat. Unit One, Lesson One, Activity One. Listen, then echo. Vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, vocabulary. Circus, circus. Big top, big top. Ringmaster, ringmaster. Parade. Parade. Trapeze artist. Trapeze artist. Tightrope walker. Tightrope walker. Clown. Clown. Unicyclist. Unicyclist. Vocab vocabulary. Vocab vocabulary. Unit one. Lessons one and two. At the circus. Amazing. 
One Lessons Three and Four The Happy Campers Jason, Patty, Adam, and Sue, the Happy Campers, coming to you. You're very late. Where were you? We went to the circus. There was a tightrope walker. It was great. There were trapeze artists. They wore wonderful costumes. And the clowns did great tricks. Hey, look what I got today. It's a letter from Zach Hart. He was at that talent show last year when we sang. And won. Wow! We're in the new Zack Hart movie! Unit 1, Lesson 3, Activity 3, Dictation. Listen and write, then say. 1. We got tickets and went to the circus. 2. The acrobats did great tricks. 3. They wore wonderful costumes. 4. We sang and won the talent show. Unit 1. Lesson 4. Activity 3. Listen and cheer. Happy campers, listen here. Now it's time to do a cheer. Ready? Okay. There was a circus. Fun, fun, fun! There were trapeze artists. Hooray, hooray! Unit 1, Lessons 5 and 6. Circus Arts. Circus Arts started a long time ago. People went to the circus to watch performers do interesting things. Now, there are a lot of famous circuses all over the world. Some travel the world to perform in different countries. In the 1980s, a new type of circus started. There were a lot of people at every performance. People were excited about the new circuses and they got bigger. Today, Circuses have amazing acrobats, dancers, trapeze artists, clowns, and interesting music. They are very talented and beautiful to watch. Some circuses traveled to many places around the world. The shows were a success. People loved them. The performers were amazing, and the costumes were beautiful. Now these shows are so popular that there are performances all over the world. Unit 2, Lesson 1, Activity 1. Listen, then echo. Vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, vocabulary, Movie studio. Movie studio. Director. Director Cameraman Cameraman Scene Scene Cartoon Cartoon Producer Producer Movie star Movie star Script 
Vocabulary. Unit 2. Lessons 1 and 2. Making movies. I like the theater. I also like TV. But movies on the big screen are what I like to see. I visited a studio. It was great to see. I talked to a movie star. The director. Unit 2, Lessons 3 and 4, The Happy Campers. Jason, Patty, Adam and Sue, The Happy Campers, coming to you. Meet my personal assistant, Madison, and Hamlet. Do all of you have the script? Yes. We're so excited! Where's the makeup artist? <coughs> Positions, please! Yummy pancakes! We need another microphone! Where's the sound engineer? Lights, camera, action! I feel sick. Cut! We sat and waited all day. We met Zach and did the scene ten times. Patty ate six pancakes and I drank three smoothies. We felt sick. We took Hamlet for a walk. Unit 2. Lesson 3. Activity 3. Dictation. Listen and write. Then say. 1. Where is the makeup artist? 2. The director says, Positions, please. Action. And cut. 3. The sound engineer has a microphone. 4. She is his personal assistant. Unit 2. Lesson 4. Activity 3. Listen and cheer. Happy campers, listen here. Now it's time to do a cheer. Ready? Okay. We ate, we drank, we felt fine. Unit 2, Lessons 5 and 6, Ivan's Movie Ivan really loved movies. He liked watching them, and he wanted to be a director and a cameraman someday. He secretly liked the idea of being a famous actor, too. He made a lot of funny and interesting videos of his family and his friends at school. One day, his teacher gave the class a project. Teach the class how to do something new. That evening, Ivan sat in his room for a long time, thinking about his project. He watched movies and read some books to get ideas. 
He got his notebook and pens. He walked around. Then he had an idea. He was an expert cell phone movie director. I can teach everyone how to make a movie with a cell phone, Ivan said. First, think of an idea for your movie. Then, write the script. Think about where you want to film and what actors and costumes you need. Then, film your movie. Finally, edit the movie on your computer. Cut! Ivan's movie was a great success. He was the cameraman, the director, and the star of his own movie. Unit 3 Lesson 1 Activity 1 Listen, then echo. Vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, Larry, Larry, Larry. Sweatshirt, sweatshirt, sweatpants, sweatpants, cardigan, cardigan, vest, vest, leggings, leggings, tights. Hoodie, hoodie, dress, dress, vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary. Unit 3, Lessons 1 and 2, Window Shopping. Unit 3, Lessons 3 and 4, The Happy Campers. Jason, Patty, Adam and Sue, The Happy Campers, coming to you. Pay attention, please. We start at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Go to bed early. Don't waste time. Learn your lines. Rehearse the scene again and again. Be on time tomorrow. Patty, bring your leggings too. Okay. 
Did you stay up late last night? Yes, I did. Did you waste time, Patty? No, I didn't. I'm ready for today. Did you learn your lines, Sue? Yes, I did. Run! See you at the studio. Saved by the rain. Unit three, lesson three, activity three, dictation. Listen and write. Then say. One, please be on time. Two, did you learn your lines? Three. Pay attention and don't waste time. Four. It's important to rehearse the scene. Unit three, lesson four, activity three. Listen and cheer. Happy campers, listen here. Now it's time to do a cheer. Ready? Okay. Did you go to the party? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Did you have breakfast? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Unit three, lessons five and six, the story of Velcro. There was an engineer in Switzerland. His name was George de Mistral. One day in 1948, de Mistral and his dog went for a walk. When they arrived home, he noticed that parts of a plant were stuck, like stickers, on his pants and his dog's fur. De Mistral looked at the small balls from the plant. He saw something very interesting. They had little teeth on them. He didn't stop thinking about the plants. He wanted to make something useful with that idea. He invented a material with little teeth, like the plant he saw. It was very easy to open and close. He called his new idea Velcro. NASA used Velcro on their clothes for astronauts, and they loved it. Now people who make clothes, bags, and shoes use Velcro a lot. Look at your clothes and your shoes. Are you wearing anything with Velcro today? Unit four, lesson one, activity one. Listen, then echo. Action movie. Action movie. Comedy. Comedy. Horror. Horror. Drama. Drama. Science fiction. Science fiction. Western. Documentary. Documentary. Musical. Musical. Vocabulary. Vocabulary. Unit four. Lessons one and two. Movie fans.
We went to see a horror film. It gave us such a fright. Ah! What did you see? We saw a comedy. We laughed a lot until we cried. It was funny to see. Unit 4, Lessons 3 and 4, The Happy Campers. Jason, Patty, Adam and Sue, The Happy Campers, coming to you. What happened at the lake? Was Hamlet there? Yes, he was. He ran after a lizard and into the water. <laughs> And now Patty is wet and grumpy. That's not polite, Adam. That's rude. But Hamlet is scared of the water. Was he brave? He was very brave. The girls look so serious. Were they scared? <laughs> Sue was when the lizard jumped on her head. Silly lizard. Sounds like a great story for a comedy! Unit 4, Lesson 3, Activity 3 Dictation Listen and write, then say 1. The girls weren't silly, they were serious. 2. The girls were grumpy. 3. Who was brave? 4. He wasn't rude. He was polite. Unit 4. Lesson 4. Activity 3. Listen and cheer. Happy campers, listen here. Now it's time to do a cheer. Ready? Okay. Was he brave? Yes, he was. Were they silly? No, they weren't. Unit 4 Lessons 5 and 6 Uncle Bob's Jokes Yesterday was Gary's birthday. He got a special gift from Uncle Bob. The gift box had a joke book, a water bottle, and a stone inside. It was an unusual gift, but jokes can be fun. He opened the book and started reading a joke. It was called How to Change Stones into Frogs. It looked interesting and Uncle Bob gave him all the things he needed to play the joke on his little sister, Andrea. Gary and Andrea went into the yard. Gary put the stone in the gift box. Then he put the gift box next to the tree. He poured the water over the stone. Close your eyes and count to ten, Andrea. Gary said, Okay. Andrea said. She was very excited. She closed her eyes and counted to ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gary quietly took the stone out of the box and put in a frog. Ready? Okay, look. Gary said. Andrea opened her eyes and out jumped a big fat frog. Wow! A frog! That's amazing! She said. Now I'm going to try one of Uncle Bob's jokes. Unit 5, Lesson 1, Activity 1. Listen, then echo. Vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary. Vocabulary. Universe. Universe. 
Solar system. Solar system. Planet. Planet. Mercury. Mercury. Neptune. Neptune. Jupiter. Jupiter. Saturn. Saturn. Earth. Earth. Vocabulary. Vocabulary. Unit 5. Lessons 1 and 2. Off we go. Lessons 3 and 4 The Happy Campers Jason, Patty, Adam and Sue The Happy Campers Coming to you Hi Greg Wow, a telescope Is it for the movie? No, I'm an astronomer too I study the universe. Cool! Can you see comets and meteors flying in space? Zoom! Whoosh! Can you see the craters on the moon? Sure! Is our moon the biggest moon there is? No, it isn't the biggest, but it's the closest to Earth. Is Earth the greenest planet? Which is the largest planet? Let's go see! It's Jupiter! But it's daytime, Patty! Unit 5, Lesson 3, Activity 3 Dictation Listen and write, then say 1. It's his telescope 2. There is a big crater on the moon. 3. Comets and meteors fly in space. 4. I want to be an astronomer. Unit 5. Lesson 4. Activity 3. Listen and cheer. Happy campers, listen here. Now it's time to do a cheer! Ready? Okay! Is Jupiter the biggest planet? Yes, it is! Which is the smallest planet? Mercury! Unit 5, 
Lessons five and six. Galileo and his telescope. Galileo was an Italian astronomer who lived a long time ago. He was one of the smartest astronomers in history. He was the very first astronomer to learn about the solar system with a telescope. One of the first things he looked at was the moon. He saw the deepest craters and the highest mountains on the moon with his telescope. Then Galileo studied the planets. He looked at Mercury, the smallest planet, and Jupiter, the biggest planet. He discovered that the planets don't circle the Earth; they circle the Sun. Galileo was the first person to see Jupiter's moons. There are sixty-four moons, but he didn't see all of them. He only saw four moons with his telescope. Then he saw something that looked like ears on the planet Saturn. He didn't know he saw the famous rings of Saturn. Some people think Galileo is the father of modern astronomy. In 1989. A spaceship started a trip to study Jupiter and its moons. The name of this spaceship was Galileo. Unit six, lesson one, activity one. Listen, then echo. Vocab vocabulary. Vocab vocabulary. Vocab vocabulary. Smartphone. Smartphone. Smart watch. Smart watch. MP3 player. MP3 player. Gaming system. Gaming system. Laptop. Laptop. Tablet. Tablet. Wireless. Wireless. Digital camera. Digital camera. Vocabulary. Vocabulary. Unit six, lessons one and two. Cool. Look at my smartphone. Isn't it cool? The most amazing of its kind at my school. Isn't it neat? The most exciting of its kind on my street. Look at my tablet. Isn't it grand? The most beautiful. Of its kind in my hand. Look at my camera. Isn't it cool? Cool. The most wonderful of its kind at my school. Unit six, lessons three and four, the happy campers. Jason, Patty, Adam and Sue, the happy campers, coming to you. Welcome. Please come in. I want to buy the best laptop, please. This is the most powerful one. Wow. And it's the most expensive too. Pink? That's the worst color for a laptop. No way! It's the best. I want to buy a gift for my mom. 
That's very generous and thoughtful. What about a laptop bag? I hope you have pink laptop bags. It's so busy and noisy here. Let's go somewhere peaceful. Let's go get a pizza. That pizza place is the best. Unit 6, Lesson 3, Activity 3. Dictation. Listen and write. Then say. 1. The best laptop is the worst color. 2. She is very generous and thoughtful. 3. Be careful with my smartphone. 4. It isn't the most peaceful place. Unit 6. Lesson 4. Activity 3. Listen and cheer. Happy campers, listen here. Now it's time to do a cheer. Ready? Okay. Pizza, pizza. Is it the worst? No, it isn't. It's the most delicious. It's the best. Unit 6. Lessons 5 and 6. The Dog Walker. Joshua! Where are you? said his mom. Joshua wasn't in his bedroom, and he didn't answer. He was in the yard making a robot. Sorry, I didn't hear you, Joshua said. Can you walk the dogs, please? his mom asked. Joshua didn't like walking the dogs. They were bigger and stronger than him. But now he had the most talented and amazing robot. Walk the dogs, Joshua said to the robot. The robot walked out of the yard, and the two big dogs followed him. Joshua was very happy and went inside to watch TV. Walk the dogs, the robot repeated. Then the robot took Joshua's dogs, the small dog on the corner, the dog from the grocery store, and all of the dogs on the street out for a walk. There were a lot of dogs in the yard and a lot of angry people. Hey! What did you do? Hey! That's my dog. What is that? What did you do, Joshua? Mom asked. Oh, no. Maybe this isn't the best robot, Joshua said. Unit 7, Lesson 1, Activity 1. Listen, then echo. Vocab vocabulary, vocab vocabulary, vocab vocabulary, Windy. Windy. Bright. Wet. Wet. Foggy. Foggy. Mild. Mild. Chilly. Chilly. Freezing. Freezing. Icy. Icy. Vocab vocabulary. Vocab vocabulary. Unit 7, Lessons 1 and 2, The Bicycle Ride Come on, let's go outside It's a great day for a bicycle ride Why are you wearing a scarf today? Because it's freezing And I see they say They 
Unit 7. Lessons 3 and 4. The Happy Campers. Jason, Patty, Adam and Sue, the Happy Campers, coming to you. Why do you want to do this scene outside? Because it's foggy today, and this is a scary movie. Action! Why did you stop? Because the wind took my hat. Look, it's on that branch. Cut! Why did he say cut? Because the monster's tooth fell in the mud. Look! Madison, do you have a towel? Why do you need a towel? Because Hamlet jumped in a puddle. <coughs> and Jason jumped in after him. Why is your nose red, Greg? Because I walked into a tree trunk. It's foggy today. Cut! Unit 7, Lesson 3, Activity 3, Dictation. Listen and write, then say. 1. The branch fell in the mud. 2. The dog jumped in a puddle. 3. The tree trunk is big. 4. The wind is strong today. Unit 7. Lesson 4. Activity 3. Listen and cheer. Happy campers, listen here. Now it's time to do a cheer. Ready? Okay! Why did they laugh? Because he walked into a tree! Unit 7. Lessons 5 and 6. George Washington's False Teeth On a bright day in April 1789, George Washington became the first president of the United States. He was a brave man, and he wanted the United States to be a peaceful country. Washington was also a good man. But he had a secret. He had bad teeth. This was because he was sick a lot as a young man. He took care of his teeth, but it didn't help. By the time he was president, he only had one tooth of his own. George Washington didn't smile or talk much because his teeth hurt him a lot. Washington didn't want anyone to know about his bad teeth. He looked for a dentist to make a set of false teeth. John Greenwood was an important dentist in New York. Washington asked him to make false teeth for him. Greenwood made them from the teeth of a hippopotamus. They were strong and white. They were expensive, too. George Washington wore his new false teeth for his official portrait. Look at his picture on the American dollar bill. Do you think he was wearing his false teeth for that picture, too? Unit 8. Lesson 1. 
Activity 1. Listen, then echo. Vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, vocab, vocabulary, Larry, 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 Suitcase, suitcase, hand luggage, hand luggage, bag tag, bag tag, ticket, ticket, check in. Airline Airline Window seat Window seat Boarding pass Boarding pass Vocab vocabulary Vocab vocabulary Unit 8 Lessons 1 and 2 Up and away For a vacation, time to fly away. I'll buy the tickets. We don't have all day. Time for a vacation, time to fly away. I'll get the boarding pass. We don't have all day. For a vacation, time to fly away. I'll take you to the airport. We don't have all day. Now we're at the check-in, and this is our airline. I'll give you the window seat. Vacations are just fine. Unit 8, Lessons 3 and 4, The Happy Campers. Jason, Patty, Adam and Sue, The Happy Campers, coming to you. Look, Flight 30 to New York City. That's our flight! Here's gate two! I'll take the boarding passes, Madison. We're your flight attendants. Fasten your seat belts, please. Here are the emergency exits. And please don't run in the aisle. Will you give me your seat, Patty? No, I won't! Hey! I'll ask if we can see the pilot. Zach! 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 Zach over here, Zach! 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 Zach. Zach. Over here, Will the over movie here, be Zach. good, Zach? Hey! Yes, it will! No, it won't! <gasps> <gasps> It'll be fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> Who will sing for us today? We, we will! will. Unit 8, Lesson 3, Activity 3, Dictation, Listen and Write, Then Say. 1. The flight attendant is in the aisle. 2. I'll put on my seat belt. 3. This is the emergency exit. 4. Our flight is at gate 2. Unit 8. Lesson 4. Activity 3. Listen and cheer. Happy campers, listen here. Now it's time to do a cheer. Ready? Okay. Will you sing for us today? Will you dance for us today? No, we won't. No, we won't. Unit 9. 
Unit 8, Lessons 5 and 6, Adventure on Mount Juniper. Olivia, Zoe, Noah, and Gavin are in the school walking club. Last Saturday, the club planned to visit Mount Juniper, but it was a chilly day and many children stayed at home. But not Olivia, Zoe, Noah, and Gavin. They wanted to see the mountain. Let's go anyway, Noah said. It was easy and a lot of fun going up the mountain. Then it started to snow. It was scary. This is dangerous, Noah said. Let's go back. Now we won't be able to see, Gavin said. What are we going to do? Olivia asked. I'll call for help. I have a smartphone, Noah said. Who will you call? Zoe asked. The fire station, Noah said. Soon they heard a noise. It was a helicopter. The firefighters helped them into the helicopter. Thank you! Now fasten your seatbelts and let's go. We'll be home soon, the pilot said. Unit 1. Skills Book Happy Reader. Maggie's Song. There was a song contest at a radio station to win tickets to the circus and to perform. Maggie loved to sing, and it was her dream to sing in front of an audience. She wrote a song about a circus and practiced every day. A week later, she went to the radio station to sing her song, and she won! Maggie and her family went to the Smith Brothers Circus the next day. It was amazing with all of the unicyclists, jugglers, clowns, and tightrope walkers. And on that day, Maggie was one of the performers, too. After a few acts, it was Maggie's turn. The ringmaster called her name. The audience went quiet. Maggie walked into the middle of the ring and took the microphone. She was very nervous. The band started to play her song, but Maggie didn't sing. Everyone looked at her and waited. Maggie closed her eyes and listened to the music, but she still didn't sing. Then something unusual happened. All of the performers walked into the ring to stand with Maggie. Suddenly, she started to sing. The audience cheered, and the performers cheered too. Maggie's circus song was a hit. Now, the Smith Brothers Circus opens all its shows with Maggie's song. Unit 2. Skills Book Happy Reader. Meet the Crew. Movie studios have many jobs for people with different skills. I am a movie producer. A producer has a really important job. I think about the cost of the movie and find people to write the movie. I also find the right director. For my latest movie, I needed screenwriters. The screenwriters wrote the script. I helped the screenwriters with the idea for the movie. The idea had to be great. Next, I met with the director. The director read the script and gave many ideas. Then we called the movie stars. They also read the script. Then the director rehearsed lines with them. Next, we made the movie. The makeup artist was very creative. She made a young actor look old. She also painted big muscles on a thin actor. All of the actors looked very different. The cameraman filmed the scenes 
and followed the director's instructions. The director said, Positions, please. The cameraman was ready to record. The director said, Action! The cameraman recorded the scene. Then the director said, Cut! Finally, the cameraman stopped recording. Everyone saw their names on the movie screen at the end of the movie. They felt very happy. It was fun to make this wonderful movie. Unit 3. Skills Book Happy Reader The End of Year Play It was the last week of classes, and the sixth grade had a surprise for the rest of the school. An end of year play. Everyone wanted to make the play a success. They rehearsed the scenes at lunchtime. They stayed up late to learn their lines, and they read the script carefully. Everyone worked really hard every day, except Nick. I don't think we're ready, Lisa said. Let's rehearse the scene one more time, and Nick, please pay attention to the script. Don't worry, Nick said. Everything is going to be fine. Nick never remembered his lines. He was always late, and he wasted a lot of time. The rest of the class was very worried, and Nick was the only student who didn't have his costume. Nick, the clothes are really important in our play. It's all about clothes, Simon said. Don't worry, Nick said. Everything is going to be fine. That night, everyone went home. They went to bed early to get a good rest, but Nick didn't. The day of the performance arrived. The whole school gathered in the gym for the school play. Everyone was excited. The sixth graders got into their costumes and rehearsed their lines one more time. Where's Nick? Jenna asked. I don't know, Carl said. He wasn't in the boys' dressing room. It was time to go on stage. The curtains went up and the audience clapped. Nick walked out in a beautiful costume and said his lines. They were perfect. Nick was right. Everything is going to be fine. Simon said. Unit 4. Skills Book Happy Reader A Letter to the Editor Dear Editor, Cell phones are amazing. You can get a lot of information from cell phones. You can talk to anyone in the world right now. You don't even need to be at home. You can make calls from anywhere. You can send people messages or play games. But sometimes it's better to put your phone away. Many people use their cell phones in movie theaters. This is not polite. Last week, when I was at the movie theater, a woman used her cell phone in the middle of the movie. An older man in the theater was angry. He saw the light from the phone and heard the woman talking. He yelled at the woman to put her phone away. The woman said, Don't be silly. It's just a quick phone call. Then the older man said, I'm not silly. You're rude. Put your phone away or leave the movie theater. It wasn't polite for the older man to yell in the movie theater. But was the woman rude to use her cell phone? There was time before the movie to make a call. There was time after the movie, too. It's more polite to wait. You can talk to anyone, anywhere, at any time. But it's important to be polite when you use your phone. Sincerely, Polite Paul. Unit 5. Skills Book Happy Reader. The Craters on the Moon. 
Eddie and Tyler had a science project for school. They wanted to build a model of something in space. First, they went to the library. Where is the closest library to your house? Tyler asked. There are three libraries that are close, but the Oak Street Library is the closest to my house, Eddie said. The boys decided to build a model of the moon. They looked at pictures of the moon from very powerful telescopes. Then they drew sketches of the moon and its craters. Eddie and Tyler learned that the craters on the moon are from meteors and comets that crash into it. They watched a video about comets on the website Ask an Astronomer. Eddie and Tyler learned that comets and meteors are not the same. Meteors are rocks, but comets are ice. After the library, Eddie and Tyler got a large ball and green paint to make a model of the moon. Tyler used a knife to make the largest craters. Eddie made the smallest craters. They painted the ball and put it outside to dry. The next morning, Eddie went outside to get the moon model, but it wasn't there. He saw green footprints in front of his house. He followed the footprints up a tree. He saw an opossum eating the moon model. Eddie took the moon model back and met Tyler at school for the presentation. They laughed about the opossum. Then they told the class about how their moon model got the biggest crater of all. Unit 6 Skills Book Happy Reader How Smart Are Smartphones? What makes smartphones smart? All cell phones make calls and send text messages. But smartphones can get the internet. We use smartphones to get information and answer questions. We use them to read the news. Smartphones are an amazing invention. Smartphones can do many things. They can talk to your TV. They can tell your TV to record shows. They can even turn the TV off when you're not home. You can also use smartphones at school. You can use your smartphone on your own or share it in a group. It can help you study and learn new things. Smartphones can also take you on virtual visits to museums, parks, and other places around the world. Some of the newest smartphones Talk to toy cars and toy helicopters. You can use smartphones to tell toys what to do. Both children and adults like to play with these toys. There are many apps for smartphones made for children. You can play games with your friends or share pictures. Smartphones are great for all people, young and old. They are fun. They can help, and there are new things smartphones can do every day. Unit 7 Skills Book Happy Reader A Terrible Storm Every year, Linda goes on a camping trip with her dad and her sister Laura. This year, they went to Rock River Park. How was the camping trip, Linda? Mom asked. It was great, Linda said. It was mild, so we slept under the stars. We ate food that we cooked over a fire. We didn't bring our phones or computers. We just enjoyed nature. It was the best camping trip ever, Laura said. We went to the top of a mountain. It was the highest place in the park. We saw everything from there. Why was it the best camping trip? Mom asked. Because there was a big storm. Linda said. We were scared and it was so rainy and very chilly. 
There was also a lot of wind. But then Dad took us to a cave. It was a great place to go. We sat together inside the cave because Dad said it was safe. The storm was so close. It was much better than TV. That's so exciting! I'm glad everyone was okay. Mom said. After the storm, we walked back to the campsite. Linda said. The forest looked very different. The strong wind made some trees fall onto the trail. We climbed over the tree trunks and tree branches. We jumped in the puddles and got mud all over each other. It was great! A big storm and mud puddles? I'm happy I stayed home. Mom said. Unit 8 Skills Book Happy Reader Flight Attendants What do you want to be when you're older? Do you want to be a flight attendant? Flight attendants have a great job. They travel around the world. They see new people and new places all the time. Every airline wants to have the best flight attendants, so the training is difficult. They also want flight attendants who can prepare food and drinks for passengers. Flight attendants have to be friendly, but they have to be strong, too. Did you know they take care of people in an emergency? Airlines teach flight attendants how to help people if there is a problem on the plane. Flight attendants greet you at the gate. They check your boarding pass and help you find your seat on the airplane. On the flight, you can ask a flight attendant for a blanket if you are cold. Flight attendants tell you how to wear your seat belt. They check the aisles and emergency exit rows on the airplane. Hand luggage can't be in the aisles because people have to walk there. Flight attendants bring you drinks or food if you're thirsty or hungry. It is a flight attendant's job to keep people happy. They want you to enjoy your flight, but they want you to be safe too. Isn't it exciting to be a flight attendant? Happy Campers, Student Book 6 by Angela Giannis and Libby Williams and Happy Campers, Skills Book 6 by Jill McKinnery Published by Macmillan Education A division of Macmillan Publishers Limited Copyright Macmillan Publishers Limited 2015